So today's video is seven days of Peloton workouts. I love using the Peloton app for my workouts as they're effective, efficient, and as you'll see in today's video, most of the workouts that I've done this past week are in the duration of 15 to 20 minutes, so they're quite doable. Most of my workouts this past week have been cycling, and I also have two new pairs of cycling shoes from Amazon that I'd like to share with you today. With that being said, let's get into today's video. I'm about to start my workout. I have the welcome screen on my Peloton. I'm gonna select a workout. I really appreciate how they have a lot of 20 minute rides, which honestly are the perfect length of time for me. Not too much and it still gets your heart rate up. I'm currently wearing these new pair of spin shoes. I got these off of Amazon and honestly they're really comfortable. I would recommend to size up on these if you are in between sizes. So I just finished my quick workout. I actually did 15 minutes of the 20 minute workout, but honestly there's no shame in doing partial workouts. Something is still better than nothing. So here are the spin shoes from the brand Kesku. They're available on Amazon. They resemble the Peloton shoes in terms of having the Velcro straps on the front. So this is what they look like. I got these in a size 39, once again, same as my Peloton shoes, and I would say that they run true to size. These shoes are compatible with Delta and SPD cleats. These shoes are perfect for the Peloton. They contain everything that you'll need. Before installing the cleats, it is recommended to tighten the four screws inside the shoe to avoid rattling when riding. These shoes are made of a breathable and lightweight material. There's an adjustable buckle for a secure fit. So I just finished a 15 minute hip hop ride with Alex Toussaint. Once again, I worked out much harder than I thought I would, especially even if it's just only 15 minutes. So I just finished a 20 minute hip hop ride with Alex Toussaint. Usually I do the 15 minute rides, but today I did 20. So I just finished a 20 minute hip hop ride with Alex Toussaint. This outfit is currently from Lush Forest, a brand that they sell on Amazon. I got these both in black. These shorts are really great because they don't fall down while riding. They're quite tight and they do suck you in. And I do love the shirt as well. It is padded and quite comfortable. I got the shirt in a size large and the shorts in a size medium. The back of the shirt has a really nice racer back detail. I just finished a 20 minute hip hop ride with Alex Toussaint. Here's a new protein bar from Level Foods. This is in the banana bread flavor. So this is what these two packs of bars from Level Foods look like. I have the flavors banana bread and apple crisp. What makes these bars different from other protein bars on the market is that these bars contain collagen. Adding collagen to your daily routine can increase your skin hydration, reduce wrinkles, support the growth of strong hair and nails, and more. Each box contains six bars, and the bars range in calories from 200 to 210. So right now I'm eating the apple crisp flavor. The first ingredient in this bar is actually apples. Second ingredient is egg whites. The fourth ingredient is collagen. This particular flavor has 11 grams of sugar, making it sweet but not overpoweringly sweet. 
Here we have the banana bread flavor. Once again, it still has 11 grams of sugar. The fourth ingredient is egg whites, and both of these bars still have 14 grams of protein. These bars are dairy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, don't contain soy, and they don't have artificial sugars. On their site, you have the option to build your own box. If you're interested in trying any of these bars out for yourself, the code CM10 will get you 10% off your order. I just finished a 15 minute hip hop ride with Alex Toussaint. So I just received these really pretty spin shoes in the mail. These are from Amazon. So here's their Amazon listing. As you can see, they have a variety of colors. Obviously, I love the gradient pink color and the purple is really pretty as well. Currently, I have been using my Peloton branded spin shoes right here that just store on top of the bike. So I got these shoes in the color gradient pink. I did get a size seven and a half. Unlike the Peloton branded spin shoes, these don't have Velcro across the entire portion. They do have laces, which you can loosen and tighten with this dial right here. To loosen the laces, you just pull the dial out right here. You'll hear a click sound, and from there you can just literally manually open up and loosen the laces. To tighten it, you just push the dial down and rotate it clockwise. So the laces do feel quite sturdy. They're of this plastic material. On the side of both of the shoes, they have spelled out sport. These shoes are also SPD and Delta compatible for the cleat portion right here. This is what the instructions look like for loosening the laces. Here's a little bit about their warranty. So one thing I really appreciate about these shoes is that they include the Look Delta compatible cleats, which as you may know, Peloton requires Look Delta cleats. So I'm gonna be installing these Look Delta cleats onto the shoes. So here are all the screws as well as the included tool. So I'm just gonna use my Peloton shoes as reference for the positioning of the cleats. So first of all, I'm gonna remove the pre-existing screws, which I believe would be for the SBD compatible cleats. Next, I'm gonna place this rectangle portion and the corresponding screw. I'm not gonna over tighten it because I do wanna have some leeway so I can adjust the cleat to the proper position. So here's the Peloton shoe for reference. As you can see, the screws are on the lower portion, so I just kind of want to mimic that. So this is what it looks like when the cleats are installed onto the shoes. Realistically, it took me just under 10 minutes to do, and it was quite simple. So this is what they look like next to the official Peloton shoes. I did get them in the same size, a size 39. So this is what the spin shoes look like once worn. I got these in a size 39, but they're actually a little bit too tight on me. I do have my Peloton shoes in a size 39, but for some reason these run a bit smaller. So anyways, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you're not already, and comment down below, what is your favorite form of cardio? Have you also tried the Peloton app? And lastly, what is your typical workout duration? With that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.